Adam Clayton Powell, Jr. inherited from his father the pastor of the largest black church congregation in America. The position required much more than being able to deliver a good sermon. He had to effectively administer over his staff of workers, supervise the heavy financial affairs of the church. Also, as pastor, he had to be active in the communities of his parishioners. By the following year, he was awarded an honorary degree from Shaw University for his outstanding work as a church pastor. In 1939, his activism increased. He served as chairman of the Coordinating Committee on Employment that organized several picket activities in Harlem and also picketed for equal employment at the World's Fair that was held out in Queens. Powell led a picket fight against substandard conditions in Harlem apartments. He seemed to be in the thick of every fight and was fast picking up a reputation of being a dynamic leader. He also led the struggle to improve the quality of medical services as well as to integrate the staff at Harlem Hospital. Five black doctors knocked on the door one morning and Hugh Codrin Vincent said, as Clarence Darrow uh, pronounced over Mayor Elkult's funeral, we want you to be a flaming tongue to speak for us. We all just got kicked out of Harlem Hospital. Not a black doctor there. So I won that by taking, uh, according to the New York Times, 6,000 people.